Hi, my name is Richard. And you may be wondering what I'm doing up here with this strange piece of aluminum. What I'm going to attempt to do is show you how this makes working on your toilet or your sink a lot easier in the 21st century. This is a mock-up of your basic toilet you find in everybody's home across America. And of course it has the most famous fluid master that's also in most toilets. And this is a mock-up of a kitchen sink valve or a lavatory valve which I'll be getting to in just a second. But this, this is the tool and we are calling it the universal speed wrench. You can call it a buddy wrench. Um, I know they have a plumber's friend. This is a plumber's buddy. On this mock-up of the toilet, let me explain to you exactly how this makes it easier. Most toilets are up against a tub or a cabinet. And what you want to try to do is put your supply line on or change this fluid master if that's what the problem is. This is designed to go over the supply line, slide up, attach itself to the supply line, and take it on and off with relative ease. A lot easier than a pair of pliers and putting your head on a PP toilet seat. So what we have done is designed a wrench that can be put on and taken off whenever you feel necessary. Now once you've decided to make that decision to work on your toilet at home, this wrench is going to make it a lot easier. There's a small nut underneath here that's very difficult to get to and it also fits that. And as you can see, once you get it loose, it'll come off and you can take your fluid master out, put the new one in and get this started. You may think that's the end of the problem, but it's not because you've got to put all this stuff back together. So what you do, come right down here, the wrench finds itself, you tighten it back up, you get your supply line, slide it over, put it on, and you're all doing this from your knees. You're not laying down anymore and you don't have your face on the seat, which is a lot more sanitary. But that's just about it. I just changed that whole piece in a couple of seconds. Now what I want to explain to you furthermore, this is your basic mock-up of a vanity valve or a kitchen sink or a bathroom that you would find anywhere in any home across America. And they all take these new stainless steel braided supply lines. What we did was make a wrench that would also fit the toilets and when you turn it over and it fits the supply lines, the stainless steel supply lines that fit these. If you'll notice, and let me grab it real quick, these two supply lines have two different ends. The, the metal nut is for most kitchen sinks and lavatories and this fits that metal nut just like that. You turn it over and it fits all the toilet supplies. And that's what makes it unique and that's why we call it a universal speed wrench. It's a real big time saver. It just goes right on there. Most of the time we take these on and off with something called a laboratory wrench. And don't get me wrong, a laboratory wrench still comes in handy in, its, in some cases. But it's very difficult to use and if you're not dexterily gifted, this makes your life a lot easier. Let's go ahead and put one of these supply lines on these vanities. Now, now bear in mind, you're probably going to have to look up to see where this starts. So wouldn't it be nice to slide this on, drop it in your wrench, get it started without even looking, tighten this up, and you're done. That's it. You, you, you hook the other end and you're done. And if these nuts that, that mount this to the deck, if they're also loose or need to be tightened, you just turn it over, slide it up on here, and it takes these off as well and puts them on. What an easy way to put your kitchen sink or lavatory or toilet together going to make your honey-do list a lot easier. So why don't you give it a try? If you see it in the marketplace, make your job a lot easier. Universal Speed Wrench.